Welcome back. What we're going to do today then is we're going to put in our final dark value between the petal that falls forward and the one behind it. And then you're going to see me do one more leaf because I want you to get one more study on the leaves taken care of so you can get an idea of how I'm doing those. So go ahead and watch that and then I'll be back with you. Nice and dry and cool to the touch. Now I am going to take just straight, we're going to go back to the um, rose for a moment. Just this straight golden ochre. And I'm going to just deepen this area one more time. And I'm going to just leave it. I'm not going to soften it in. This is really dark right in here. There we go. I think that's going to accomplish what we're looking for there. All right. Now we can go back to doing our leaves. We're going to do this leaf first. It's kind of an oddball leaf. It has a little bit of a yellow flip right here. And it comes down like this with a very dark area right up in here. And then it comes over here, and there's actually a little bit of a flip on that side, too. So it's somewhat of a complicated leaf. We're going to fill it in with water twice. Now, I paint on a flat surface, so I don't get any, usually, any drips towards the bottom or anything. But if you have your um, surface up a little bit, you probably will. And what you want to do for those, if you do get any drops at the bottom, say down here, all you do is dry out your brush, wipe it off on your cloth. Again, I use a baby diaper, it's so absorbent. And Lay it down on that water droplet. Let it absorb it. Um, picking up the moisture. Wipe your brush out again if you need to. Do it again until that moisture is to where you want it. So you control your water. That's one of the biggest tricks I can teach you in watercolors is you need to control the water. Okay, now, this is a really strange little leaf here, but we'll get her. I'm going to stay with my six because I really like the point on this one. Start out with the lighter value first. And that's going to be right in this area right on that edge. It's the flip basically. And then it just kind of drops down in here. Right up here is a lighter value. It's almost a blue value though, which we can always add in later as we're doing detail. Now this comes out because like I said there is a flip there but there's some light there. I clean my brush wipe off a lot of the moisture, pick up the light value. Need to create some more of the light. I got more dark than light or mid value I should say. All right. Now I am going to run this mid value right down this outside edge here because that's where that flip is. And basically it's all in here is the mid value. So we'll do that. Reload your brush as you need to. It's pretty dark in this area. This area is very dark. Now 
Now if you lose your flip like I did over here, not a big deal. That's what the detail work is for. Now this comes down to about here and then the rest of that is dark. So I'm going to pick up the dark. Yeah, it's dark right up to here. And again, this is just mingling. Needs a little bit more water in my paint. Mingling these colors together. There is a bit of a dark over here, too. Just double checking my photograph. So, you know, I do have some extra moisture in there that I don't want, so I just dried my brush real quick and then picked it up. I want these colors to join together. Now I'm going to go back here. That might not be dry enough, but yeah, it looks like it is. Pick up that edge because I lost my highlight and I don't want to do that. And I'm going to do the same thing over here where that flip is. Just to remind us when we're doing the details. In fact, I think I'm going to add in some of that lighter. Man, drying quickly today. See, I took some of that paint out of there, so now the yellow is adhering to it, so that's a good thing. If I would have just put it on top of the green, it would not have worked, so well, it's good I removed some of that paint first. There we go. 